of excitement and enthusiasm. Praise God. Do you, do you feel what I'm feeling? I feel like a kid on the day before Christmas. Hallelujah. Amen. Christmas is coming. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus. Amen. Is coming to bless. Jesus has what you need. Amen. God has good things in store. Doesn't the scripture say? Amen. Amen. That if your father's in earth, who gives you good things his children how much more shall our father in heaven give us good things amen hallelujah amen amen praise God I feel like some good things coming Did anybody feel some good things are coming oh my God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus amen amen praise the Lord Lord. Man, this is, a, this is a dynamic, explosive atmosphere today. Amen. So you just get, get, get ready for what God will do for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today's service is a little going to be a little bit different. And uh, that we had such a great worship altar service. Amen. I'm not going to put too much emphasis on an altar service again. Amen. In other words, you had your chance. <laughs> Amen. But I, I want to minister in a different kind of a way today. And uh, uh, so, but you're going to like it. Uh, praise the Lord. It's, 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 God has sent us this atmosphere for a purpose, for a good reason. Amen. And uh, we don't want to waste it. We want to put it into action. Say action. action. Come on, action. action. Come on, Glenda Grace. Action. All right. Amen. I, I like that row right there. That's a good row. Amen. That's Rosalina. And uh, anyhow, praise God. That's a good row. Amen. And I thought this is a good row up here. And they're all good rows. Praise God. <laughs> Anybody ever work on the farm? Or anybody ever grow a big garden? Okay. Hallelujah. Well, you know, you plow, you get everything ready, and you go and you put the seeds down. Amen. And, and you, you get up every morning, you go to look, and, and you check the ground, see if anything's popping up. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Hey, man, that's the way I feel about this church. Hey, man, hey, look at them popping up on this road. This is a nice road. Look at this road. What a nice road. Whoa, oh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of, a lot of fruit coming from this road. Oh, oh, yeah. We're going to have a lot, a lot of pasoya. Hallelujah. A lot of galactics. Praise God. This is a good road. This is a good road. Yeah. Praise God. We need some more. Come on, pop up, pop up there. Amen. We got a few rows. Uh, amen. That uh, the, evidently the seeds were bad or something. That, that they're not popping up. Praise God. But they're going to pop up. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm reading today my text from Matthew chapter 9. <laughs> Verse 37 and 38. The title of my message today is It is time. Or now is the time. Praise God. Matthew 9, 37. Then saith he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his vineyard. Harvest. Okay. Praise God. Sister Virginia, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Brother Ricky, give me five, man. All right. Yay. Hallelujah. Brother Ron, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Brother Jojo, are you with me today? After church, we're going to wrestle to see who can win that white jacket. <laughs> hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Lord, we pray your blessing on our word today, on, on your word. I pray that our word will be your word, that you will speak through us, O oh God, today. That which you have placed in my heart can be transferred into the hearts and the minds of all of these present today. Lord, we'll be careful to give you the praise and give you the glory and give you the honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. Greet somebody sitting next to you and say, I'm excited. I am excited. Hallelujah. All oh, folks just going to keep you on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus. What a great conference. I, I can't ever remember being in a conference just like that. In fact, it went by so fast and was so good, it was like it didn't happen there. I wake up on Monday and I, I just felt like, I, what, there's no church today or there's no more, it's over. Amen. It just, it's just like you eat these puffy Cheetos, hallelujah, and you just pop them in your mouth and you crunch, 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 and you just gone. Amen. Hallelujah. But it was good. I still got the taste, amen, in my mouth. And uh, I, I'm excited about what God has birthed or what God has uh, instilled and placed into all of us. You don't know it, maybe, but God has done something to you. God has placed something inside of you. Amen. That, and He plans on coming to visit you. He's knocking on your doors. He's got a word for you. Amen. He has something that He wants to share with you. Something that He wants you to take His hand and follow Him. Amen. He got something. Woo! Hallelujah. I'm excited. Can you tell that Brother Strickland is excited? Yeah. Hey, man, I got a, a Facebook. I, I sent a, a my, my sister's birthday was yesterday. And uh, so I sent her a little message on Facebook. Happy birthday. Said, uh, I was 65 and it wasn't too bad. <laughs> she sent me back a message, you know. <laughs> Amen. And uh, so anyhow, uh, I, I'm, I'm, ex I'm, I'm excited about what God is, is, is doing. God has not finished His work at all. I mean, actually, if we understand why, He's just getting started. Praise God. What we've been doing, we've, dig we've been digging all these years and, and, and fixing the ground up and fertilizing the ground and, and uh, taking out all the weeds and uh, uh, nourishing the, 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 the seed plants. You know, you think about farming, uh, let's take the, the corn for instance. There, there, there's corn and then there's corn. There's corn for eating, there's corn for boiling, there's corn for preserving, there's corn, but you, there is a certain corn you keep for seed. So that the next year you have something to plant. I mean, Tantalavate. Comprendo. Hallelujah. All right. Praise God. And, uh, and so God has just been producing all of these plants, has been producing seed. <laughs> Can you? Well, I'm just thinking about it. It's awesome. All this seeds, amen. And, and and these seeds have power inside of them, and they're gonna they're gonna start popping up everywhere. Sister Reyes, amen. You're you and uh, sister the only ones uh, on that row. I think. Praise God. But amen. You 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 you're gonna have people pop up on there next to y'all. Hallelujah. You're planting. You you put Calabocia right there on every chair. Amen. Going to come up. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus said that the harvest truly is great. He doesn't lie. 
Jesus is not telling a lie. The harvest is truly great. In other places, he says it's white and ready to be harvested. Praise God. The only thing is in question mark there is the laborers are few. Amen. But we're not a few here today. But we're pretty, we're not a little bit, but we got a pretty good group here. But we can all be laborers. We can do more, I'm sure, than what we have been doing. Amen. I didn't hear a witness on that. Amen. Well, you know what? Amen. It's not going to be you doing it by yourself because God is going to put inside of you an enthusiasm. Amen. And some excitement and some want to to go out and sow the seed. Yes, ma'am. Some people don't go crazy. I, just, I got your witness. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Give her a lozenge. Just, she must have a sore throat. Okay. <laughs> Amen. You know, right, Sister Joy? I baptized Sister Joy just about two weeks ago. Hallelujah. I'm so one of my favorite baptisms I ever got. Amen. How many named Joy here? There's a couple more Joys in the house. Oh, well, the, the other ones are not here today. Amen. Okay, that's all right. We'll find some, find us some more named Joy. <laughs> Amen. Uh, years ago, when I was had a little bitty church, and I didn't have a whole lot of people, maybe ten people primarily three families no men it was ladies with their children we had ten uh, you know what we had we had faith praise the Lord we had we had want to and uh, sister brother and sister Freeman came to my little church and they preached and this was the text she took. Pray ye the Lord of the harvest. If I'm not going to say it's the only place where Jesus gave us something to pray about. He said pray ye the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers in the harvest. Truly the harvest is great. Amen. And I said you know I never thought of that scripture like that. And so we had everybody Come and we say, okay, we're going to pray the Lord of the harvest. Amen. That he was sending laborers into the harvest. And during that, that period of time when we was really praying and trying to win souls and all that, the Lord began to deal with me and show me some insight to this scripture that uh, has been with me. I've never forgotten it. And you know, you don't forget it because you found something that works. And uh, what, I, what I saw in that, that, that the Lord shared with me as we prayed for, uh, with our few people, the Lord showed me that the laborers are not necessarily those that are here right now. Those dear sisters that we had, they were not necessarily the laborers referred to in this scripture. But it was referring to the laborers that are not there. Yet. Okay. There, there is a harvest of laborers as well as there is a harvest of souls. There are laborers that will be born into this congregation. Oh, Hallelujah. And, and I said, there are already, but there are more to be born into this congregation. Amen. Amen. We pray the Lord of the harvest to send forth laborers. How can he send forth laborers if he's referring to the ones that are already there? Does that make sense? 
So he's talking about new laborers coming in. It doesn't mean we can't be laborers. But God has, hallelujah, his sight set on some people, amen, uh, all around us here, uh, amen, he's got his mark on them, he has sent his angels to them, uh, and he is working on them, uh, and he is waiting for you and me to knock on their door, hallelujah, and invite them to come and see Jesus, amen, uh, hallelujah, what do you want, sir? I want you to come see Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Come to the crossroads on Sunday and you will see Jesus. Amen. Come to the crossroads and you will be touched by the presence of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Come to the crossroads and you will find life. You will find joy. You will find peace. Amen. Just come. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, uh, I want to invite you to Crossroads, praise God, because God said for me to come tell you that you are going to be a laborer. <laughs> you got to come and get in the church of Jesus Christ. I believe this. There are key clearly key people that are out there waiting to be invited to church. Behind these people are many people. They are people that have influence. They are people that have families. There are people that have positions to where they can influence people and people look up to them. And when they see that their lives have changed and when they see that Jesus now lives in them, then behind them will come many more souls. You know that little church I was telling you about? You know how many people that are in it today? Over 1,000. Hallelujah. When I left there, I gave it to my next man. He was my assistant pastor, Brother Ronnie Malson. I left it, it was about 200 people. Amen. But it kept growing and it kept growing. And they got young people got married and they had babies and now the babies are getting married and the first thing and it's grown and all new people come in. The chief of police is in the, in the church. A councilman on the on the, 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 the we call them parishes. Boards are in the church. A, influential people in the city or in the church of Jesus Christ in that little town of about 35, 40,000 people. Amen. Hallelujah. The biggest church in town is the one God Jesus name, tongue talking Holy Ghost Church. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But it all started with just a few people and God said, pray ye the Lord of the harvest. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, I feel in my soul now is the time. Now is the time. But it is time, hallelujah, that this church, praise God, moves into that dimension. Amen. To where we begin to find those hungry souls, those people that God has been working on and has lined up to become a part of this church. Can I get a witness? Do you believe? Some of you don't believe. Some of you don't believe. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something right now. I, I, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but I'm going to tell you what. Uh, amen. Uh, sometimes God gets his church ready for the harvest by moving people out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel like God has moved some people out. Not because they're bad people, 
but because for some reason God said, I've got to move them out. Believe me. Amen. I've had that so many times. I've watched it happen. When people leave, and I said, God, what are you doing? That's one of my, some of my best workers. What are you doing? But God, in his reason, he said, i got to move them out. Hallelujah. And you know what happens? Here comes the harvest. Here comes the new people. Hallelujah. Here comes the new soul. For whatever reason, it's a phenomenon. It's a phenomenon, a spiritual phenomenon. Hallelujah. It's like, it's like if you have a Coke machine right here, and somebody says, don't put a Pepsi Cola machine next to a Coca Cola machine because you're going to cut my sales in half. But it doesn't work that way. You wind up selling more Coca Colas and more Pepsi Colas. Why do you think they put across the street from McDonald's a Burger King? Why do you think they put the goodies next to a to a, 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 a Simply Burger? You know, why do they put them all in a in a food court? It's because it's a phenomena. It's a sales phenomena. Amen. When you put Several things collected together. Amen. They all do better. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what God, amen, wants to do in this church. Amen. Everybody's going to do better. Praise the Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. And uh, Judges chapter 7 verse 20 says, And you've, we've all heard the story of Gideon. And it says, And the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers and held the lamps in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow with them. And they cried, The sword of the Lord and Gideon. Hallelujah. I think there was something like 33,000 people. And God got it down, got it down. There was just 300 left. Amen. And so... Uh, they got, he stationed them around on the mountainside. Amen. Told them to get a pitcher and put a candle in there. And when I blow the trumpet, you break the picture and uh, instantaneously the lights are going to come on everywhere and the enemy's going to try to foon. Hallelujah. They're going to go crazy and they're going to kill one another and then they're going to all cry out the sword of the Lord and Gideon. Hallelujah. And there was a great victory won on that day. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Uh, amen. It's time to pick up the sword. Uh, amen. It's time. Hallelujah. Amen. To let the light shine. It's time to break out. Hallelujah. It's time, amen, to confront the enemy on this ground. It's time, praise the Lord, amen, to stand up and be counted with a number. Oh, glory to God. Oh, <laughs> Amen. Just think I didn't even shave my head off hair <laughs> Amen. You know, Gideon, the Lord kept getting it down fewer and fewer, and he finally took them to the river. And he said, You tell them to drink out of that river. And he said, Those that get down and laugh like a dog, you know, mm, mm, mm. he said, Like that, he said, I don't want those. But those that take their hand and dip up the water and drink the water, he said, you choose those. Amen. Praise God. And so what God does, amen, he kind of picks out. He kind of, amen, finds those that he's going to really use and really work with. Amen. And then he starts giving them some instruction. And he tells us what to do. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to tell you what. I'm really excited about this bunch of people that we have in this church today. Every one of you. Every one of you. I know some of you, you don't feel like you're 100% cross-roader, but I don't care. I see you as a 100% cross-roader. Hallelujah. Amen. You ain't there yet. I'm telling you, ain't none of us there yet. Praise God. Amen. In the eyes of the Lord, if you are being earnest before God, you are perfect as you are. Hallelujah. Because God's righteousness makes you perfect until you come to that statue and that measure. Hallelujah. Amen. 
my shoes don't shine enough to make Bennu happy. Hallelujah. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty. Amen. I, I, I'm a little lax. Amen. But I'm not by myself, I see. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Y'all don't know, but years ago, that dear lady, she used to, she was a aim worker in Thessaloniki, and she lived in my house. Amen. And, and, and she kept me straight. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, we love Sister Benu at Crossroads. Amen. And we love all these people. The front row people, we just love all these front row people. And praise God, all you that go way back to the very beginning. Amen. But this is a new day. We can't live on last year. We can't live on previous years. This is a new day today. Praise God. We've got to live for today and for the future of the church of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And as I said, God does not lie. He said there's going to be a great harvest. There's a great harvest. Amen. I want to be a participator. I want to be a participant, amen, in that great process that God has designed for the church of Jesus Christ, amen. The Bible says that we are the ministers of the gospel of reconciliation. You see, angels can't do it. Quit praying to angels to go do some stuff because angels can't do some stuff. Hallelujah. Amen. But God says, I have chosen you. Amen. To be the preachers of the gospel. Hallelujah. If God wanted to, he could ride in the sky. Acts 2, 38, or hell. Hallelujah. But he said, no, I'm giving you the message. Amen. And you've got to go. And you've got to shine the light. And you've got to pull out the sword. Hallelujah. And say, the sword of the Lord in crossroads. Hallelujah. The sword of the Lord in Gideon. Amen. It's time to fight. It's time to give it our best. It's time to win the loss. Win the loss. Win the loss. Win the loss. Oh, hallelujah. And out of this pool of warriors came the army that God wanted. And I feel that way today, that in this pool of warriors that we have inside this building, you're not here today by accident. These young ladies that are guests today, amen, you're not here by accident. Amen. God is trying to lay in you, amen, a desire and a burden to be a part of God's end time revival, of God's end time move of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So get on board. Get on board. Sign up for the new steps blessings right after this service. Praise God. Amen. I see teams of two. I see teams of three. I see teams of groups. Amen. Hallelujah. Going out together. Amen. With their swords drawn. With their lights shining. Amen. And telling people and preaching the gospel. Praise God. Brother Barak, Sister Virgie, hallelujah. Amen. Musicians, I can see y'all on the streets uh, singing and handing out tracts and preaching the gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, it's not, it's, it's, it, you say, well, I'm not, it's not the, how good you play. Hallelujah. It's the anointing that you play. Hallelujah. It's the Holy Ghost. Uh, amen. Uh, it's the Holy Ghost. You get out there and the Holy Ghost will be with you. When you go to visit somebody, take a friend with you if you're a little nervous about it. Take a good friend or two with you. And let's say, let's go visit uh, uh, Jocelyn uh, McAdoo, whatever her name might be. Amen. And, and you go together and you feel the anointing of the Lord. It's going to anoint the visit. Amen. And we want you to come to church with us. Amen. Come to the church and cross goes. Hallelujah. Because they say, how come? You just tell them because it's time. Hallelujah. It's time. Amen. God has said it's your time. Amen. To come and get born again of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah. It's your time to go down in the water in the only name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. And, and what is that name? Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. There's power. There's power in the name of Jesus to wash away and remit all your sins. Oh, glory be to God. Up to now, elder is a good title. Up to now, 
Overseer is a good title. Up to now, Group Leader is a good title. Up to now, Department Head, Librarian, Evangelism Department, Bible School, Sunday School Director, ta 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 Hallelujah. Uh, what's going to happen in these next months? Amen. The title that everybody will aspire to is the title. I was on Facebook earlier this morning, and a sister that's in the church that runs a thousand now. She married one of the babies when I was there. The family came to the Lord. And now he grew up, went to university, and married this girl out of the university who was a, was a Trinitarian. Uh, but she converted over into the one that's Jesus' name. And so I looked on her profile. You know, you, you go and you click on their name. And it tells you, you know, their profile, what kind of job they have, where they go to school, da, da, all that information. Amen. Praise God. If you don't want me to know, don't put it because I check on you, okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. But when I read that, Sister Mandy, Sister Mandy has started an orphanage in Uganda. Sister Mandy has brought many souls to the Lord. Sister Mandy has uh, just done so, so many things. She's been a guest speaker at ladies' meetings and what have you. And, and she, she has a, uh, a, a, what you call that, a studio, portrait studio, where she makes pictures of people and all that kind of thing. An excellent job that she does. Amen. But you know what she had up there? As her, what is it, on her profile, her profession was, I'm a soul winner at the house of prayer. And I said, I like that. And so I copied it and I pasted it in my message today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The title will be most desired will be Soul Winner. Soul Winner. You know what? Not, not a minner, but a winner. You know, Nikki Tees. <laughs> Hallelujah. Nikki Tees. You know what? Totiklo kupfa proti bume ine totiklo nikitis. Hallelujah. Boxus to kirion. Praise God. Anybody want to be a soul winner? Amen. Want to be a soul winner? That is the only title that will earn you a star in your crown. Not administrator, not department leader, hallelujah, hallelujah, not group leader. They might get you well done, good and faithful, but there's only one way to get a star in your crown. And that's to be a soul winner. begin to blow out of the north. You know what happens on the farm? It's time to get out the combine. It's time to get out the harvesting equipment. Hallelujah. Because harvest time is there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Spring is gone. Summer is past. Uh, and now it's time <laughs> to reap the harvest. Glory to God. Lord, let the wind blow. God, let the harvest wind blow. Let it blow over this congregation in the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 14, 23 says, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Hallelujah. My sister and my brother, I do not make it a secret. Hallelujah. But we have to fill this church up. 
we're only half full today. I'm thinking, ushers, did y'all get a count? How many people in here right now? 100 people? Amen. We have, there's 250 blue chairs. Amen. Amen. But, and then we got another 150 beige chairs. Praise God. I believe in God to fill this house to 400 people. 400. 400. Amen. Not, it's just a number. But the thing about it is, praise God, God wants His house full. I want God's house full. I, I believe it is a promise of God to fill this house. God said... See I'm Strickland, uh, hallelujah, I'm going to fill this house. Uh, and God has always filled the houses, hallelujah. If we want to fill the houses, God will fill the houses, praise the Lord, amen. Uh, amen. Uh, and he told his servants, uh, if they don't want to come, you go out into the highways and the byways and the hedges and you compel them to come uh, and to my house, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It doesn't mean you go there with handcuffs and a pistol. Hallelujah. Amen. But you go there, amen, with confidence and the anointing of the Lord with the sword of Gideon. Hallelujah. Amen. We're not going to be wimpy at the crossroads. And, oh, would you peace come you? Then, no, sir. Hallelujah. I let me do you a good favor and invite you to the church. It's powerful church. It's a worshiping church. God is in the church. Hallelujah. You don't want to miss out. I, I, I'm giving you a privilege. I'm giving you a, an honor to invite you to come to this church. Praise the Lord. I, I challenge you to go anywhere else and find a church like this church. You're not going to find it. Amen. Because this is a one God, Jesus name, tongue talking, holy rolling, born again church of Jesus Christ. Just like the Bible says. Uh, and you're going to get the Holy Ghost. Uh, when you come to this church, you're going to get the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So we go in faith and with courage and understanding that we're doing them a privilege. Amen. We're not trying to make them do it. We're giving them the offer to be blessed. Amen. This is your opportunity, sir. Amen. I don't want to come over, but you, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're turning down. You surely need to come and investigate. Amen. And I know if they will come and investigate. Amen. They will never be the same. Praise God. I know the power of my God. I know what God can do. He will wrap His loving arms around them if they will come to this church. They will feel the love of God. And He will work with them. And He will talk with them. And He will speak with them. And He will dream with them. Hallelujah. And little by little, little by little, amen. They will surrender. Hallelujah. Not to Brother Strickland, not to the problem. They will surrender to the loving arms of Jesus Christ and say, yes, Lord, I will. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. So let the winds blow. You see, you have to fight. You got to have some fight. You got to have some fight. Amen. Well, I forgot to tell you. I was going to tell you the story about Robinson Crusoe. You know, how many have heard the story about Robin and Caruso? It's a very famous classic story. It's about the guy, he gets stranded on this island. And he wakes up and all that, and he finds I'm all by myself. He had two things. Well, I guess I'll just lay here and die. But he finally came to the conclusion, I think I want to live. And so he jumped up and he started scavenging the whole island, trying to find things that he could help make a living for himself he fixed him a little hut and all that sort of stuff but 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 the message in all of that amen do you choose to die or do you choose to live amen you want to lie down there and be like a dead smelly cor uh, corpse uh, do you want to just float float in the the, the the sea of the world Amen, out there with all of its sin and degradation and, and bumping around to them old smelly dead bodies. They're dead, they're not, they don't know Christ. Hallelujah. They're dead to their, in, the, in the world. 
Amen. Do you want to be out there and all that mix and all that quagmire? Or do you want to, amen, uh, come alive? Do you want to say, I choose to live? I choose to walk right, talk right, be right. I choose, amen, to go with Jesus. I choose to hide myself in the cross. Amen. Glory to God. The choices are there. Choices are yours. Praise the Lord. Now this, everybody in here, though, you're the good seed. You're the, God's, you're not here. God's picked you out already. Amen. Amen. I know some of y'all. I've been watching y'all. I study your faces. I study your actions and your movements. Amen. I've been accused that pastors counting the people as if it was something wrong. I read in the Bible, that's what the shepherd does. He counts the sheep. And I know when there's 35 here. I know when there's 37 here. I know when there's... A good crowd, and I know when there is a bad crowd. And I know when the Holy Ghost is moving, I can see it on your face. I know where you are. I can see you making, trying to make decisions. In your face, you can see you trying try to make decisions. I see you wrestling, amen, trying to make up your mind to say yes, Lord. I can see you, amen. You don't think I can see that? Well, the Holy Ghost, I, 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 the Holy Ghost helps me. But what I like about it, I have confidence that everybody, everybody, hallelujah, amen, you're coming, hallelujah, you're coming along, amen. And not only that, I see mighty people, I see great, great warriors for the cross in this, I see people that, that, that are, may not be like 100% members, you know, you, you're you out there doing things you shouldn't be doing, but you still come to the church regularly. I, I know, but I, I tell you what, I see in you so much potential. I see that God has his hook in your jaw, and he is bringing you up because you, my friend, are going to be a laborer. Hallelujah. God is going to make a soul winner out of you. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, yes. You, you're in this house, amen. You, you think you're under control, but you don't have the control. You think you have the control, amen. But as long as you keep coming to this house, you don't have the control, amen. Jesus is reeling you in like a fish, hallelujah. And the day's going to come and you're going to give up and you're going to cry, yes, Lord. And you are going to become a a laborer in the kingdom. You're going to become a fisher of men. And you're going to be recognized. And you will be called the soul winner. They're going to, people are going to look at you and say, she's a soul winner. Amen. They're going to look at you and say, he is a soul winner. Hallelujah. And then, wow, what an honor. What a privilege. Got the lobby tag. <laughs> Okay. Paul said, I fought the good fight. What does that mean? It means he fought. We can't just not fight. We can't just... We have to fight. You got any fight? You got any want to? You got any spizzerinkdom? We used to call that mine. My family, you gotta have some giddy up go. You gotta have that want, that desire. Amen. That's the difference between a thoroughbred and a donkey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The donkey don't have any desire. You gotta beat him to do. But a thoroughbred, he's ready to run. Hallelujah. You ever see the horses at a race or something like that? They, they bring them into the gates. You know, there might be ten gates, and they start bringing those horses in, and those horses, they're prancing around. They jump, hey amen, and the jockeys keep saying, oh, 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 and they finally they put them in the gate, and they're in that gate, you know, because they're, they're runners. They're ready. They want to go. Open the door. Let me out of here. I want to run. I'm looking at a bunch of thoroughbreds in this house today. 
little sister, you're a thoroughbred. Hallelujah. We just got to get you in the gate and turn you loose. Hallelujah. So you can go about the Father's business that He has designed you to be. Matthew 11 to 12 says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. Hallelujah. Amen. The word violence there is arpaxo. Uh, uh, arpaxo. Hallelujah. And in the ancient Greek, the word is Arpazusin aftin. The word arpazo means to take or by violence or by force. We use the word in the scripture, the word is used for rapture. We Amen. And that's why I say God is going to come as a thief in the night. And he's not going to come tippy toe in here. Hallelujah, sneak around and say, would you go with me? It's time to go. He's not going to do that, but the Bible says he's going to come and descend out of heaven with a what? Shout! The voice of the archangel! Hallelujah. 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 The dead in Christ are going to come out of the graves. And we wish our life remain shall be changed with him in the moment in the twinkling of an eye. Hallelujah. Violent. Amen. Sudden action. That's going to shake the whole world. Hallelujah. If you're driving a car, the car's going to go off the road and maybe have a crash. Amen. If you're flying the airplane, well, look out. Sorry. Hallelujah. They're going to call it a terrorist act. Amen. Whatever it is. Hallelujah. But if you're in Jesus Christ, if you've been born again of the water of the Spirit, it's going to be an arpaxo. Hallelujah. He's coming to snatch us out like a thief in the night. And this uses the same terminology right here. Amen. About the kingdom of God. Amen. It suffers violence. It, 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 it allows violence. It, 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 it requires some violence. Amen. It, it, and the violence shall take it by force. is so powerful but you don't know she never says anything she's so quiet but she's violent <laughs> hallelujah she's violent for god that's what she is you you just you just be under her leadership and if you, you just mess up and see how violent she can get hallelujah she don't mind telling you how it's got to be amen <laughs> Let's laugh. <laughs> 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 Woo! Hallelujah. <laughs> and, page two. Uh, oh, it's early yet. It's early yet. It's early yet. Y'all don't expect the pastor to come up here and preach a sermon yet. 15 minutes. That could happen, I suppose. I try to put a little food on the table. Patatas puree. Muscari psico. Bamiez. Masoya. Masolaki. <laughs> Amen. Pastor, we've heard the main course of that. How about some desserts? <laughs> Amen. Well, let's see what we can do here. I want you to understand what we're saying. To take it by force. It, it, it means, what that phrase means is that men whose mind is made up, you're not going to do a violent act unless you make your mind up about it. 
His mind is made up and they don't care what happens, hallelujah. They're going to use every power and force in their means, amen, to carry out the action. Glory to God. Glory to God. Where's Sister Marika? Hallelujah. Oh, she said she can't be here today. Well, I can talk about her then. I don't have to worry about her getting lifted up and pride. Hallelujah. But I tell you what, Sister Marika has, once comes after you, look out. Because she is like a bulldog. Amen. She will not quit. She will not quit. She will not quit. How many of you know that? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of you can learn something from that little sister. Amen. She's not maybe the most popular one running around everywhere. But I'll tell you what, you've got to give her A+. Plus. Praise God for determination and not quitting. Amen. Hallelujah. She has understanding of the violence shall take it by force. Amen. God give us a dosage of that. That's why she's not here today so I can talk, talk about that. Amen. Hallelujah. Forget the spoonful of sugar that helps the medicine go down. We need some of that arpazzo. Hallelujah. We need some of that violent taken by force. Putting everything that you have into it. No more. What what we sing that song? No more sorrow, no more. No more I am free. Well, what are those words? Huh? No more shackles. No more chains. No more. No more timidness. No more wimpiness. No more. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But I am free. Amen. Glory to God. So, it takes no more tippy toeing around. No more timidity. No wimpy. But it's time to be full of faith, Sister Wayne. Sister Wayne's like that. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Brother Rob's like that. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He goes for them. Amen. He, he advertises in the paper, in the Udur paper. He goes out and passes tracts and everything else. He's not ashamed of the gospel. No. Amen. He goes do it. He does it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to say this, Brother Ron. God is going to reward you. I don't like the way he combs his hair, but they don't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Let me see your shoes. <laughs> Sister Benu. <laughs> Glory to God. Are you with me today? Yeah. Are you with me today? Yeah. We got the message. Amen. It, 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 we got to have the faith. We got to have this confidence and this enthusiasm and this excitement inside. Amen. And the thing about it is, God has it. It is in this house that He is putting it in you. Hallelujah. Jump up there. Jump up. 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 Enthusiasm. Hallelujah. We used to sing this song. I've got the Sunday school enthusiasm down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the Sunday school enthusiasm down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. Everybody say enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasmos. Enthusiasm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, did you get that enthusiasm today? <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on now, you got to have the enthusiasm. Who's real enthusiastic? Hey, Brother Sam, I got right here, blue coat man, hallelujah. Come over here, hallelujah. Hey, man. <laughs> look at this man, look at the enthusiasm. Oh, look at him, man. He 
get over there jumping up and down all morning long. Hey, Amen. I like that. Praise the Lord. Gotta have some enthusiasm. Sister Myrna, look at Sister Myrna. She's got enthusiasm. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. I guess you can stay standing up because I'm on page three now. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. But we need a new mindset. A new mindset. Now look at things different now. We are not persecuted. We're not the poor, run down people of the world that everybody hates and nobody likes. You know, and oh dear God, please help me to hold on. I'm about to lose everything. I don't know if I can live another day for you, Jesus. Uh-uh. Oh, she, oh, she. change our mind and we have to see the lost souls not as demons and not as oh, lions uh, amen but we have to see them as hungry souls yeah. they're just waiting they are just waiting for you to speak to them just waiting for you to invite them to the church you know you don't have to be high pressured used car salesman style. You just have to just invite them to come see Jesus. Just come to church with me. One, two, three. Go with me. Hallelujah. Remember that one? Yeah. And I want to tell you what. The next two weekends, we're going to have revival services. Next weekend is none other than the George Kraft will be with us. And the next two weekends, we will have Brother Brian Norman will be with us. Brother Strickland, you get my people out, they'll get the Holy Ghost, he says. Hallelujah. <laughs> Brother Strickland, you get them out, and they'll get the Holy Ghost. Just bring them to the service. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what I believe. Praise the Lord. Brother Barak, since I've been calling you by Barak, you've been dressing better. <laughs> now, look at this man. He looks like a preacher. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Where's Sister Frida? Where's Sister Frida? Is she here? Or is she in the Sunday school department? Amen. Praise God. She's looking like that preacher's wife. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. And uh, but what we have to do, we have to entice them. We gotta put the holy one. We gotta put the bait out there. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. Yes. Amen. Most snakes that I know, when they come, they're quiet, they're very stealthy. You know, and and, and I think we can study the victim. <laughs> we can study the person and try, and God will help us to find the method or the words to, to speak to them. Are any would be soul winners here today? They're going to be so, you all are going to be so winners. Amen. We're, we're just everybody. Hallelujah. You're going to be so winners. Amen. Amen. I think of the lepers where they went, they went out to the camp of the enemy that the Lord chased away. And they were there eating, and everybody in the city was starving to death. Amen. And finally one of them said, you know, we're not doing well. We better go back in the city and tell everybody what the good news is. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we don't do we got to get out. I said, we got to get out. It's time. It's time. I said, it's time. The time is here. Amen. If, if it's not now, when? If it's not here, where? Hallelujah. If it's not you, 